Nucleus runs can make you a lot of money, but also give 200 skyblock experience for the first 50 runs you do. But to get them done, you're going to need all 5 crystals for each run, so let's go through how to get each one and the total materials you're going to need for all 50 runs. And if you know how to get some of the crystals, you can always use the timestamps to skip the ones you know. The first crystal is the sapphire one. To get it, you're going to need all 6 drops from the automatons, which include the electro transmitter, FTX 3070, Robotron reflector, super light motor, control switch, and the synthetic heart. And if you don't want to grind these out with automatons, you can always buy them from the bazaar. After you get all 6 items, you'll have to go to the Professor Robot NPC and give them all to him, where he'll open the Automaton Prime building where the Sapphire Crystal is inside to pick up. Next up is the Jade Crystal, which you'll need to go to the Mines of Devon for. Like the Sapphire Crystal, you'll need to obtain items to give to an NPC. The items you're going to need are the Scavenge Lapis Sword, the Scavenge Golden Hammer, Scavenge Diamond X, and Scavenge Emerald Hammer. You get these items by using the Metal Detector given by any of the NPCs. The Metal Detector works by making a beeping sound, and the closer you are to the treasure, the higher pitch the sound is. Then you just go around the mines of Devon getting all the items you need, and once you have all of them you'll give each one to the keepers, which are a four off. Each one will want a specific item, and once given, the jade crystal will spawn in the middle of the room. Next is the amethyst crystal, where you'll have to go to the jungle temple. Once there, you'll need a jungle key to get in, which you can buy one on the bazaar, or if you want to get it yourself, you can get one by killing a guardian or buying one at the village for 500 sludge. Once you have the key, you can get inside the temple, where it will remove all potion effects and you'll have to do the parkour to get the crystal. But there's also a way to cheese this crystal. If you go over to the temple entrance and walk to the far left NPC and look at the coordinates, you can add 61 to the X coordinate, subtract 44 from the Y coordinate, and add 18 to the Z coordinate. Then you can set a waypoint here if you're using mods and it will take you right below the crystal at the end of the temple. Then you can place a cobblestone right below the waypoint with a one block gap. And then you equip an armadillo pet and walk onto the block, which will then allow you to look through the ground and right click on the crystal. This can be pretty tricky to get, so make sure you're in the correct spot and try to find an air pocket like a staircase so it actually allows you to right click on the crystal. This can save you quite a bit of time, so if it's still not patched while you're doing this, I would strongly recommend you do it. The amber crystal is obtained by going to the Goblin Queen. Once you're there, you'll need the King Sen effect active, which you can buy for 3 goblin eggs at King Yolkar in the goblin hideout. You used to be able to get this from god potions in the first few days of the update, but you'll need to get a separate potion now that it's been removed. This scent effect can't be stacked either, so every 20 minutes you'll have to go back to regain the effect. And on top of that, if you go into any water, the effect will be removed completely. Once you have the potion effect active, you walk straight past the goblin queen to pick up the amber crystal. Lastly is the topaz crystal in the magma fields. To get this crystal, you're going to have to kill the battle boss, and once killed, it will drop a topaz crystal in the middle of the room. You should also use a bell pet so you don't die from all the heat. But you can also cheese this crystal as well. If you go to the boss while it's in its respawn phase, you'll still be able to claim the crystal even though it's invisible. And you can make it despawn by walking a few chunks away from its location, and then going back and it'll start respawning. However, if someone else is close by, it won't despawn, making it really annoying to do. So finding a good hub is really essential for making this one work. So once you have all five of these crystals, you can now go back to the nucleus and place all five crystals in the slots. And at the portal, you'll gain the rewards for doing so. So now we know how to get each crystal and what we need for each one. But let's go over exactly what items we're going to need to complete all 50 runs, which will give you the maximum skyblock experience. So first off, you're going to need 50 of the automaton drops and 50 of the scavenge drops. The automaton drops are obviously got by killing automatons, and you get the scavenge drops by using the metal detector at the mines of Devon. Then you're going to need 50 jungle keys or more if you fail the parkour. Since if you fail the parkour, it'll take away your key and you'll have to use another one. I suggest getting a little bit more in case this happens, since you can always sell them back to Bazaar afterwards. So I got 100 keys just to be sure. Then you're going to need the King Scent Effect active. You'll have to do this every 20 minutes, which will cost 3 goblin eggs each time. So this really depends on how fast you go, which people can do 2 minute runs with this strategy we're going to talk about later, but I suggest getting at least 30 goblin eggs if you're just starting out. So you won't have to stop in your runs, just in case you don't go as fast. So those are all the items you're going to need for the 50 nucleus runs, now let's go over the best strategy to do them the fastest. So the best way to do the nucleus runs the fastest way is to clear easy paths from each of the 5 locations before starting, and having all the items ready before you start. This way you'll easily be able to cycle through each crystal without having to find your way around each time. This can also be faster if you're doing it with other people, so the path can be cleared faster. The locations you'll need the paths for are the Precursor Remnants, the Mines of Devon, the Jungle Temple, the Goblin Queen, and the Goblin Hideout for the effect. 
and then the magma fields for the battle boss. It also makes it much easier if you have the warp to the nucleus, so you can get around much faster. Now once you have all of these set up, you'll go through each place getting the crystals, and then placing them in the nucleus for all the rewards and skyblock XP. This includes tons of gemstones and a ton of random items shown on the screen now. The best item you can get is the Devon's Alloy, which has a global drop chance. This means that the longer nobody in the entire server gets an alloy, the higher the chances you have of getting one. The drop chance starts at 0.00125% and caps out at 0.0125% and goes up every hour. So let me know if this video helped you out in the comments. And thank you to all of our patrons for making these videos possible. And if you haven't joined our Discord, make sure to join in the link in the description. Thank you all for watching.